Hello and how are you? You remember last lesson we talked about indefinite articles. So we said in English we have two indefinite articles, a and an. That's right. And we said that we use them with countable, singular, countable nouns. We use them with singular. Countable nouns. So we have three conditions here. The noun should be singular. Singular. For example, ka. Ka is singular, so we can use a ka. Countable. For example, coffee. Coffee. Can we say a coffee? No, we cannot say a coffee. But in special cases, only in special cases, and I don't want to, I don't want to speak about these cases. فقط بحالات معينة ممكن نقول a coffee. So I don't want to speak about this now. Just keep in mind that the noun should be countable. Countable. Yeah, let me call it اسم معدود. Coffee is uncountable, so we cannot use a. Nouns. So we should have nouns, not verbs. For example, for example, eat. Can we say I eat? No. Why? Because eat is a verb. So we should have singular, countable nouns to use in different articles. لازم يكون اسم مفرد معدود مش عم يستخدم أدوات النكر. Okay. So, what about countable nouns or nouns in general? The nouns might be animals or people or even things. Let's not mungkin kun hayawanat, mungkin kun ashkhas, mungkin kun ashya. For example, animals, dog. Okay, so we say a dog. People, for example, a friend. We say a friend. Things, for example, whiteboard or bicycle. So you see here, the noun might be an <coughs> animal, a person or a thing. So these are the nouns. Okay. Okay, now we need to know when can we use a and when can we use an. We need to learn to learn about the use. Doesn't matter if it's different. Okay, so let's start with a. خلينا نبلش بأ. For example, a. We use a with consonants. We use a with consonants. For example, school, teach. Hotel, etc. So you see here, school, S is consonant, so we use a. Peach is consonant, so the same, we use a, a peach. Hotel is consonant, we use a, hotel. So here we have S B H S B H So these letters are consonants. When the first letter is consonant, we use A. Okay, now let's move 
to talk about Anne. Okay, and we use and with vowels. In English, these are vowels A, E, I, O, U. Okay, let's take some examples. For example, for example, Our um, umbrella and um, orange. <coughs> so here, orange O is. Vowel orange umbrella U is vowel so an umbrella our here H is not a vowel so why we use an hour okay I'll explain I will give you two clear examples about this case so here we don't have vowel so why we use an hour. We should, we should, for example, say a hour. Okay, we'll see. Right, sure. So we clean the board now. Okay, I'll give you two examples. For example, I say umbrella and university. Umbrella, okay, umbrella, and university. Okay, so the first example, umbrella, we say an umbrella. University, we say a university. And now I want you to think about these two examples and ask yourselves why we use an here and why we use a here. Okay, I will tell you now. So in the first example, umbrella, you pronounce as a. Harf liu, lafadna misil a. So we use an umbrella. Why university use or you pronounce as you, not a? So we use a. On university, harf liu, lafadna you. Okay, so we use a. Like hotten, lafadna a. So the grammar says, "Qala taqul." Using indefinite articles, استخدام أدوات النكرة depends on pronunciation, not spelling. يعتمد على اللفظ وليس التهجة. So, keep it in your mind that using the indefinite articles depends <coughs> on on pronunciation, not spelling. Not spelling, okay? We depends on pronunciation. So. Umbrella, an umbrella, university, a university. This is the rule, this is the grammar. So please keep this grammar in your mind. If it's difficult, so you have to maybe to memorize the words. For example, umbrella, we use an university, a university. <coughs> what about our? Our is the same. Our and house, for example. Okay. In another color. Okay, for example, our and house. 
the two words start with H. Okay, can you then that be half L H? So the first example here we use an hour and here we use a house. Why? Because H is pronounced as a uh, a uh, and a uh, is a vowel. So here, why here? Ha house. Okay? We pronounce H as ha. So it's a house. Here, our. Our. Here, H is silent. So, an, our, a house. It's the same. The same rule. That's the Okay. Complete. Okay, what about adjectives? Mada Anastafa. For example, ugly or oh, beautiful, let's say. Beautiful. Can we say a uh, beautiful? No. Why? Because beautiful is adjective. Is an adjective, so we can't use a beautiful. <coughs> a ma beautiful, can it beautiful and can it beautiful he has sifa. So in this case, can we say beautiful girl? Yes, that's right. Here, this, the, the phrase is right. So we can say a beautiful girl. A beautiful girl. Fatah Jamila. A beautiful girl. So when we have noun plus adjective, let me go add the SMO sifa. So we can use independent articles. For example, another example. Ugly girl. Ugly girl. Ugly is the opposite of beautiful. Beautiful, ugly is the the opposite. Ugly قبيحة. Ugly girl. فتاة قبيحة. So here you. Ah. Ugly girl, so we use an ugly girl. An ugly girl. Okay. Now I want to give you a sentence. Okay, just to make everything clear for you about the independent articles. And then we will finish by clean the board. And please give me your attention. Okay, the, sen the sentence says A robber. A robber. <coughs> A robber forced. The bank stuff Aropa forced the stuff or the bank stuff to give him fifty thousand euro in cash. Okay. So this is the sentence. A robber. Again, we say a robber. Because robber is singular countable noun. A robber forced the bank staff to give him 50,000 euro in cash. For a stop. So here, a robber. Yani, what, is, what does it mean? <coughs> أجبر لس موظفي البنك على منحه خمسين ألف يورو كاش نقدا. Okay, so this is the sentence. This is the translation of the sentence. So here we say ah robber. Why? What does it mean? So the robber he is. We don't know who is the robber. Maybe he is a man or a woman. Maybe he is an old man or young. 
Maybe he's tall, he's short, we don't know anything about this person. Then on less, استخدمنا أهربر. Okay, we, we talk about a person, نحن نحكي عن شخص غير معروف. ممكن يكون رجل, ممكن يكون مرأة. ممكن يكون طويل, قصير. ممكن يكون شاب أو عجوز. So, that's why we use indefinite article here. Yeah. Because we have no information about this. A robot. Less. Okay. So, <coughs> I want you please to study the indefinite articles very hard because they are very important. And next lesson we will complete learning new vocabularies about clothes here. And we will take some exercises, some more exercise about the independent articles. Thank you very much for listening.